You know, you've written two previous books on biogeometry that are excellent and comprehensive, and I've found a lot of value in both of them. So I'd love to know what inspired you to write The Hidden Reality, The, Hidden Reality, the Biogeometry of the Physics of Quality, because it's quite a big undertaking, and I can see that it's a step beyond your previous two books. But what is it that made you feel that it was time to write this book? Well, you know, the first two books had to be comprehensive in a way, but very simple because biogeometry was a new science. So I couldn't start teaching it over uh, four years, for example, or something like that. Nobody would come into it when they don't know it. The first book gives an overview of biogeometry in a very simple way for people somehow to get pulled into it. The second book, uh, which has to do with biosignatures, this uh, somehow the whole biogeometry community felt that we had a very potent system in biosignatures and a very, uh, it's not costly at all, you, you know, to use diagrams and all that in order to harmonize all the energy functions of the body. So uh, our community felt that this should be made common knowledge to everybody. And they told me, uh, instead of just teaching it within the biogeometry courses, we should put that out for everybody. Some of the instructors came to me and told me, you're over 80 now. <laughs> you're still I, doing good, though. <laughs> yeah, but they said, do you plan to take it with you? <laughs> so I said, what? They said, you know, you have to give it in all its complexity. You have to give the whole thing out there. And if you don't explain all that, People were just, okay, we're using biogeometry tools, but how are they related to creation, to the universe, to all that? Uh, it, it seems to them to be just another fad or something like that if you don't give them the real depth. I had to put everything in the book in a very, very simple but detailed way. And I hope that this book succeeds in reaching the general public with the whole knowledge of biogeometry. I, I think it will. I, I know Einstein said, if you can't explain it to a 12-year-old, you don't understand it well enough yet. Yes, that's exactly. 